Sean Moore here with the Come Up, and uh, we're gonna teach you how to do nose bonk 180s. So when you go to do the nose 180 over a ledge, you're just gonna want to hop, you know, just a little bit higher in the ledge. You're gonna want to easily be able to just 180 over it normally. But uh, while you're in the 180, you're just gonna want to push down in the middle of it. I think it feels better if you do it, you know, just a little bit before 90 or right at 90 degrees so you can, you know, feel level. Just a little before 90, you can kind of spin into it a little bit and like, once you spin into it a little bit, it helps like pop out of it a little bit better, I feel like. You just want to be able to be pressed down enough so you can pop out evenly. But you definitely want to make sure like, your back end's kind of in the air, like you get a good push down. If your back end's hanging too low, it's easy for it to drop like on the way out and you can just like, you know, kind of loop out or jump off your bike or whatever. So when you're learning the trick, it's always, uh, it's good to learn on something low, you know, just to be safe and keep it easy. But uh, once you learn the trick, I find it a little bit easier just to do it on something that's a little bit higher just so you can get like a normal bunny hop and like push down into the ledge so it doesn't feel unnatural, like you're just bunny hopping a little bit or whatever. It actually sometimes ends up feeling weirder on lower stuff than it does on stuff that's a little bit higher. I guess once you're like better at nose bonk 180s, you can start doing them like little nose male 180 things. Um, I suck at nose males. <laughs> I guess I'm not the best person to be talking about nose males. Once you learn the trick, it's an awesome trick to like take the lines or setups. It's a really simple trick, so it's cool to like throw in the beginning of a line or after some just to like, you know, just have fun and mix it up. You could take it to drops, like, you know, do it to drops afterwards. That's one of the main things. When you start doing them on drops, you make you definitely want to make sure you got like, you're pretty comfortable having your nose poked out so your back end doesn't drop. Like, I've had my back end drop on like doing them on like a bigger drop and it's so you like fall on your back or hit your head or whatever. For the nose bonk 180, you're definitely going to want to have some gear on. I think the main thing would be a good set of elbow pads. You might fall over to the side a few times, you might have to put your elbow down. Always wear your helmet. Maybe some knee pads if you hit your stem, I suppose. You should just wear all your pads. You could wear a, you could wear a neck brace. <laughs> Alright, so uh, now that you can do like the nose bonk 180s, just go out and have fun and do a bunch of them. And uh, be sure to check the come up for more how-tos in the future. I'm not high. Just a little bit, maybe. Just a little bit. I mean, there's many things that could go wrong with the nose bonk 180, I suppose. You can get a flat tire, you could break your chain. Your handlebars could be loose when you push forward. <laughs> <laughs>